Let's get it, everybody. So, boom. These bad boys are back again. I got some packs of series or uh, 2022 Topps Heritage Baseball. We're going to rip through these bad boys. And we have one up here, two, three, four, five mega boxes also of Topps Heritage. This is the last time, guys, I'm opening Heritage this year. I figured I would give it one more run. We had a really hot start with Heritage, but then it just boom, crashed and burned. Our last four times we've opened these damn fat packs, value packs, whatever you want to call them, we didn't get anything. Man, just a couple high numbers that I actually already had, so not great. We're definitely wanting to hit something better than that, but real quick before we jump into that, I always like to show my pickups that I had since my last video. We sold my gold out of $9.99 Wander Franco Marvels that I hit in my Don Russ Hobby Box that we opened on this channel. If you guys haven't seen that, go back a couple videos and check it out. It's amazing. Awesome box that we opened. Tons of color and parallels. Really fun to watch. I sold that card for $300. I only paid $100 for the box, guys. Amazing. I went ahead and went online and just picked up one of these, which was actually way lower numbered, and it's a blue team color match. It's a hashtag trending Wander Franco, and it's out of 249 blue instead of the gold uh, marvels that I had out of 999. So, and I only got this for 50 bucks, dude. So I sold that one for 300, used 50 of that money to get this bad boy. So. Really cool. The main difference is the Marvel is way cooler. Even though it's way higher numbered, it's way cooler. And, you know, I don't think it's any more rare. I think this is way more rare. But the Marvel is popular. It's a cartoon, like, action hero kind of vibe. And it has the rookie logo, and this doesn't. So, a lot of factors that make that other one worth more. So... Definitely happy to replace it with a comparable card, at least. And then, shout out to this guy, man. This guy, this is John Jones, a picture of John Jones. But the artist that drew this, his name is Brad Oderstrom. Brad Oderstrom. It says right there, shout out to Brad. I met him today in person. And he came with a ton of autograph UFC stuff. Um, I've been buying up a ton of stuff. And I found out something cool, man. He gave me this. This is his business card. He does the drawings, guys, for Topps Gallery and Museum Collection. Those one-of-one -one artist cards that you get in there that are actually the original artist proof. Like, this is a print. This is like they he drew this, and then they made copies of it and turn it into his business card. Um, the originals of those pieces that he draws for those companies, they insert those into packs. But then also, the inserts that you pull that aren't the one-of-one one originals, he draws all of those. It's incredible, man. And this guy got paid in UFC cards for the, car, for the stuff he drew for the UFC products. It's insane. All these cards are from 2010, 2011, and 2012. The very first UFC sets, the Bloodlines, the Tops, the Leaf, the original UFC cards, guys. Cub Swanson, one of my favorites of all time. Gray Maynard. All of these are just like autograph cards. Some of the very first cards of these guys. Matt Mitrione, who's Bellator legend. Look at this. Nate Diaz. It's part of the mat from one of his fights numbered out of 88 from 2011 guys this is like a nate diaz patch rookie card it's insane a couple of tyron woodley cards who he just got starched and embarrassed by jake paul god that made me so mad man because tyron had an amazing ufc career you know if you were to fight jake in the in the cage he would get jake would get smoked but 
in a straight up boxing match where you can only use your hands. He got knocked out, you know. Jens Pulver, another all time legend. Autograph there. Robbie Lawler. These are awesome cards, man. World of Sports, Athletes of the World. Robbie Lawler from Upper Deck. This one's also 2010. Rich Franklin, UFC champion. Rich Franklin, one of the great all time guys. Had that huge fight that just blew the UFC up. Straight up legend. This card's out of 229. Also from 2012. Then Joseph Benavides, Patch Auto. Joseph Benavides, uh, Top's Finest. On Card Auto. All these are, the newest one of these is 2014, which is one of the last ones, I think. I think it's the very last one. All the rest are 2011, 2012, 2010. Chad Mendez, who's now doing bare knuckle boxing and just starched his opponent. Looks amazing. That is a part of the mat. And his autograph also, another Chad Mendez. Frank Shamrock. UFC freaking legend. Frank Shamrock. That is an amazing autograph. Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And Anthony Nujokwani. I don't really remember Anthony. Probably had it only a couple fights. But Donald, this is his first ever pack pullable auto from 2010. Cerrone is an all-time legend, man. Hall of Famer. Chris Cyborg, the greatest women's fighter of all time behind Amanda Nunes. This is unbelievable, man. Patch auto, women's featherweight. And this one is from 2012, guys. 2012 from Strike Force. Unbelievable, man. And the reigning defending UFC 205 pound champion Glover Teixeira out of 99 Patch Auto from 2014. Amazing pickups, man. So shout out to that guy. I got all those and I'm getting a ton more. I can't wait. I'm very, very excited. I always love showing off some of the new pickups. I got all the Wanders and O'Neill Cruises out. Hopefully they'll bring us some luck today and we can get something good, man, because these packs have not been treating us right lately. Rodolfo Castro, rookie outfielders. I have to go somewhat quick. We got a lot of stuff to open. Hey, there's a Mike Trout cartoon. That's a cool one. Elvis Andrus, Jordan. There's a Griffin Jacks rookie. Pack number two. Hey, if you guys are new here, hit that sub button. I'm about to open $300 worth of product. I don't make any money off of YouTube, man. This is all for fun. Just hit me with a sub and a like and a comment, man. That's all I need. It's totally free for you guys. There's a Gavin Sheets. And it just helps up new people see my stuff. Boba Shett cartoon. Man, I hope this isn't just a complete dud like last time. So far, not good. We got quite a few chances to hit something good, though. So let's see if we can get lucky today. Last couple times, we just got a couple high numbers. Lars Newtbar. Rodriguez. First backwards card is going to be just a regular high number behind the Patrick Wisdom Gold Cup. Austin Hedges, high number. I'm excited to see those blue sparkle cards, man. For 50 bucks a box, man, we better hit a good one. I have one of the O'Neill Cruise right there that I bought on eBay because I hadn't found any of the Mega Boxes yet. But now I found one. I'm excited. Speak of the devil. O'Neill Cruz right there. Just got to sleeve him up real quick. Good rookie. Put him in the good pile. First card in the good pile. We still have not hit an autograph out of Heritage, guys. Still have not hit a single autograph yet. Another Mike Trout. TJ Freed. 
Hit a relic. New Age Performers Devers. Fran Mill. I like that Vladdy home run card with Tatis. Well, we hit a relic. Dansby Swanson, game used relic. It's one in the books. Dansby's, Dansby Swanson. We're not looking for relics unless it's Wander. We want an auto, baby. We haven't hit a single one. The only auto that we hit was a Mason Thompson rookie pitcher for the Nationals, and it was a freaking redemption. And the code, when I tried to scratch it off, was all jacked up, and I had to, I couldn't, I tried to read it, guys, I couldn't get it, man. Vladdy, cartoon. I had to mail it in after trying like 50 times the. It was such bullshit, man. So pissed. Chaz McCormick, though, we do have a cool auto that I bought of him. Red ink from this set out of 73. And I've told you guys before, my buddy hit a red ink Wander Franco auto <laughs> out of a freaking hobby box, man. Unbelievable. Huge monster hit. He redeemed the redemption, and he still hasn't even heard nothing back yet. I'm like, man, I would have sold that redemption. That's a monster. At the time, those were selling for like a couple thousand dollars, man. Those real one autos of rookies, guys, they are big time cards. If you can get a good rookies real one auto, they are the real deal. Luke Maley, high numbered short print. Rami Gonzalez, rookie pitchers. Yeah, it's crazy. Completely crazy. I thought he was nuts. He didn't even sleep on it, man. First day, he pulled it immediately. Typed in the code online. I was like, man, what if you never get it, you know? I still haven't received a single one of my redemptions. Yanni Hernandez, we hit an auto of him from our Series 1. We've had incredible luck with Series 1 this year, but we have not had any luck with Heritage. Gratterall. We did hit the red O'Neill Cruz, but that's it, guys. Have not hit anything else since. Oop, mixing up my piles now. Got one, two, three, four, five packs left of the value packs. Trying to make this a huge opening, guys. Huge, huge opening. Oh, we got a chrome. I didn't even notice. We got a chrome, guys. I see it back there. Please be a good one. We haven't got... Oh, baby. If it's a wander, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Please, please, please. Who is it? Padres? Oh, I thought it was... Oh. Can't even get a Tatis. Oh, weird. Out of 373. What is that? Gray? That's not the normal refractor. The normal refractor is out of... Uh, what's it called? 999 or something? You Darvish. I've never seen one of those. Is that like a silver? Out of 373. Huh. You Darvish, though, man. Come on. You gotta give me something better than that. Not looking for you, Darvish. Reed Detmers for the Angels, though. Just threw a no-hitter. Shout out to everybody watching this, man. Please, please, do your boy a favor. Hit that like button. This is not looking good so far, man. The mega boxes are gonna have to save us. Those are $50 each. We need an autograph today. We're not settling for anything less. Gavin Sheets. Xavier Diaz. High number short print. Jake Berger. Three packs left. Another O'Neill Cruz. Put him in the good pile. 
I haven't seen that Alex Verdugo card before. Huh. It's weird. I've opened a ton of this. I haven't seen that before. Still no Wander either, man. Edward Olivares. High number. I love that Pulhos and Cabrera card. Jake Cousins rookie. Kyle Muller rookie. Two packs left. Come on. We got a hit and a chrome, which is decent, but man, it's not what we're looking for. Not the guys we're looking for. It's what we're looking for, but it's not the guys we're looking for. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Got a base wander at least. Yep, it's the base. The problem, guys, with this is a lot of the cards that you're going to pull are not mint, dude. Look at this. Look at across the bottom, how chewed up that is. It's like when they were cutting the cards, they didn't have sharp blades. You know what I'm saying? It's very frustrating. Brandon Marsh, another good one. He's looking like the real deal. Another high number, Charlie Kluberson. Another Jake Berger. Last pack, Magic. Cards almost went flying everywhere. Luis Ferraz. Sammy Long. Jazz Chisholm. I just bought a monster card of Jazz, guys. Wait for that bad boy. Matt Manning. Alec Manoa, high number. Trevor Rogers. Well, there's that, guys. Pretty crazy. Didn't get a lot there. Just a few cards. I'm going to cut this video, and then we're going to jump into those mega boxes. So if you guys want to see those, stay tuned. We did get the Dansby and the U Darvish gray or silver, whatever that is. Haven't hit one of those yet, so that's pretty sweet couple O'Neills, nothing to make it worth it though. So these mega boxes better pay off. Stay tuned, coming at you in just a flash, baby. Peace.